and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new dye embroidery hoop star add-on. This little star add-on is a perfect match for the embroidery hoop that we came out with in spring. So you can add that cute little star into the embroidery hoop just like our previous rainbow add-on and the heart that the embroidery hoop comes with. So here is what that embroidery hoop star add-on looks like. And what I love about this add-on is that it's really, really simple to stitch, especially for a novice like me. So here you can see we have a bunch of different colors of thread and some needles, and we're just going to start stitching. And the cool thing about this star is that you can pretty much do any design and it's gonna look amazing. We're gonna do a design now. In just a little bit, Shari's gonna do a design. And we're also gonna show you some different ones from the design team too. So I love that there's so many ways to be creative with this dye. So we're gonna start in one of the holes that's kind of towards the bottom of that top point. And then we're gonna go over to the left and we're gonna be making kind of like a V shape. So we're gonna go in just like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to go up the next hole there that's kind of the one straight across from it and then go back down the hole that we started in. And that's going to create a V. And we're gonna keep repeating that up the star. So here you can see we have our first little V there. Just gonna turn around to the back there so we can see what hole we're gonna go up to. We're gonna go up that second hole and then we're gonna make that V shape again. So we're gonna go over to the left, creating a V. And then from the back, we're gonna go straight over to kind of its matching one on the other side. And we're gonna go up that one. And then all you need to do is come right back down through that center one that we started at and it's gonna create our next V. And we're gonna to continue to repeat this until we hit the top of the star. And so here you can see the same thing. We're going up through one hole, going off to the side, going off to the other side, and continuing to create these little Vs. Now, when you get to the top of the star, what we're gonna do is go up through that one hole and then down through the top. And you don't need to make another V because we've hit the top. And then all you need to do is just tie a little knot to secure it in the back, and then you can switch colors. Of course, you could stay all in one color and create one star out of one color, but we thought it would be fun to have kind of like a rainbow star. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So now we're moving on to this like kind of like golden -y, yellow, almost orange color. We're gonna start in that same way. So we're going up through the hole then over to the V, going over to the other side and coming right back down. And then we're gonna move on. So we're gonna go up that next hole and create the next V, repeating everything in the same way. We'll tie it off towards the top and then we'll switch our colors again. And we're gonna do a different color for each point of the star. So now we're gonna do a nice bright yellow, which is my favorite color, and then we can tie that one off and then switch colors. And I love how easy it is to switch colors on this design um, because you can really kind of delineate each section and each color that you wanna do. So now we have this beautiful green, and of course we'll tie that one off. And then for the last point of the star, we're going to be doing this really beautiful purple. So once again, we're gonna create those V shapes just like we did before, going back and forth, super relaxing here. You can just kind of play around with this in front of the TV to create your cool embroidered designs. And then we're gonna work on the center of the star. And for that, we're gonna get this nice, beautiful pink color. So we're kind of gonna have all colors of the rainbow here. And we're just gonna be connecting those points of the star and that's gonna help fill in our design. So we're gonna go up through the center and then we're just gonna work our way to each point. So we're gonna go to that point and then from the back, we'll move to the next point and then we'll go back down to the center. And we'll do the same thing until we fill in all points of the star. And once we get through all of the rest of the remaining holes, then we can just tie a knot at the back and that's gonna give us this beautiful rainbow star that, oh my goodness, I'm just in love with. I mean, look at this, look how beautiful this is. So the next thing that we need to do is take out the embroidery hoop die. So I love that you can use that same embroidery hoop or you could do what we now have as three designs. We have a star, a heart, and we also have a rainbow. So we're gonna cut that embroidery hoop out of some wood grain cardstock so that it really looks like a real embroidery hoop. And we can just add some adhesive to the back of that and then layer it over top of our star to get this whole cute embroidery hoop design going. 
Then we can cut the screw for the top of the embroidery hoop out of some silver metallic cardstock. So once again, it feels really realistic. And then we can add that to the back of the hoop. So we'll just add some adhesive to the back of those two little prongs that are sticking up of the top of the embroidery hoop. And then we can add that little metal pin or screw up there at the top. And now our little embroidery hoop is done and we need to create the perfect backdrop for this pretty embroidery hoop. So we're gonna be die cutting some white shimmer cardstock, which is so beautiful with the largest of the small stitch rectangles. Then we're going to take out the stamp set superstar and this set has the best star related sentiments. It's so cute to go along with this embroidery hoop. And so we're going to be stamping out you are a superstar. So we're going to take that embroidery hoop and just lay it down on the card for now just to find the perfect placement for all of our stamps. Then once we have those stamps in perfect placement, we can pick it up with the door of the Misty. Then we're gonna ink that up with some jet black ink and stamp that right down onto the white shimmer cardstock. And this card design is by Rebecca, whose hands you're seeing right now. Um, and she has been embroidering and stitching for so long. She's so amazing at it. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for sharing all your beautiful skills here. And what she did was she found some colors to match the different embroidery strings that we added into the star here. And she's using the same colors to add those to the word superstar so that everything's going to coordinate really beautifully. Then here we have some of these kind of gemstone metallic watercolor paints and we're going to be using these to splatter. So we're just spraying some water right into the palette, picking it up, putting it on an acrylic block, and then just tapping the edge of the acrylic block to create little splatters. Once again, these are all going to be in the colors of the embroidery thread, which is also the same as the superstar letters. So it's going to have this really, really cool just rainbow feel to it with the splatters, which I think is so pretty. I love the metallic watercolors with the shimmery paper. It just feels spectacular. Now here we've got some gold uh, that we're going to add there and that's going to also just make it feel a little special and shimmery. And then of course a little bit more because who doesn't want more gold splatter? <laughs> And now this background is all done and this is the most beautiful, most shimmery background. I mean, look at that, oh my goodness. So here we're gonna take some really rainbow paper cause we're going on with this rainbow color theme and we're gonna add that to a standard size card base that's gonna be five and a half by four and a quarter. Then we're gonna add some tape runner to the back of that splattered background that we just created and we're gonna layer that onto the rainbow cardstock. And I feel like it makes the rainbow of the letters and the splatters stick out even more. And then now the magic's really gonna happen when we add this really cute embroidered hoop to it. So we're gonna add some foam squares all around where there's no embroidery thread. And then we can peel up the liner paper and attach this onto the card. And oh my goodness, that star is the star of the show. It's so beautiful and so sweet. And I love how it really coordinates with the paper, with the splatters, with the color of the markers on the letters. So pretty and so fun. And this card would just make anybody smile. And next up, Shari is gonna show you how to incorporate this hoop into a cute scene. So take it away, Shari. So to start my card today, I have cut the embroidery hoop star add-on from some mermaid cardstock. And this is where I'm going to be doing my stitching. You can see that I have some peacock and some blue jay cardstock to the side there. So you can kind of get a feel for the colors that I'm going to use in my card. I am stitching a yellow star today. So I have two shades of yellow embroidery floss. And I'm going to be doing the part that kind of fills in the star first. I'm going to come up through the middle first and just use a little piece of washi tape to hold that thread in place. Just wanna make sure that the tails don't stick out from the sides. And then where I'm starting is I'm going from the center to those inner points. So kind of the valleys. And then I can work my way going back and forth so I'll go up to the next hole, then I go to the next hole on the outside, and that will start to create that shape of the star. Now I am going to leave that middle one right there. You can see I'm stitching it. I'm actually gonna take that out because I wanted to do something a little different for my big long lines. I'm going to take it from the center all the way to that point once I get the whole star filled in. So then I'm just gonna work my way back down the other side going from one hole to the next and then connecting it. It's kind of like connect the dots actually. Then I'll do the same on this one. And I'm just gonna speed things up so that I wish I could stitch this fast. <laughs> 
and then I'll work my way back down. So you can kind of do one side at a time and just go from one hole to the next. And like I said before, I am skipping that last little piece that is the very point of the star. So I've gone through and I've stitched my whole star and then here is where I'm going to go down to the center. So this is with that darker shade of yellow. I'm also going to outline the outside of the star. Now you could backstitch this and do every between every hole, but I liked the look of the long strand of floss. And so that is how I've decided to outline my star today. Now I'm going back to that center a little bit here, and then I'll go back to the outside. You could do the whole outside and then do the whole center. It really doesn't matter. You could also backstitch up those um, lines that I'm creating from the center to the points, but I'm doing, again, one long line. And then I'm just actually gonna tie this one off because I ended up back at the beginning where I started, so I can easily tie those two tails together. And you can see how that star looks with all those lines for the inside part, and then you get a different look when you outline the star with some long strands of floss. Now for the hoop and the frame, I have cut this from some peacock cardstock, which I think is a nice color to frame that star and it goes well with the colors I'm using for my card. Now for the little pin or the screw at the top, I did cut that from some gold glitter cardstock and that's going to match the gold accents that I add to my card. Now for the sentiment, I'm using the Lucky Star stamp set. I really love the sentiments in this stamp set. I know it is a bit older, but they're fun and I love the fonts. And then I'm going to white emboss this onto this Blue Jay panel. Now this is cut with a stitch rectangle and it is going to fit in the center of my card and then I'll have that peacock one layered behind it to create a frame. So I've just stamped that with my clear embossing ink. I'm adding white embossing powder, getting all the excess off, and then I'll heat this with my heat tool so I get that bright white sentiment. And this is really going to stand out on that Blue Jay cardstock. Now I've pulled out my metallic watercolors and then I'm just adding some very fine splatters to the background. Not too many, just to give a little bit of sparkle like stars. And then I'm going to use the stars from the How You Bean Stars add-on. This little mouse from So Very Mice and these two little mice from You Autumn Know. And I've already stamped and colored them and cut them out with the coordinating dies. Now my idea for this card was to create a big pile of stars at the bottom. I have done this in the past on a card and it was really fun to create this big pile of stars and then put my embroidery hoop at the top. So I've taken two of that big stamp that has all the stars and lined them up on each side, trimmed off the excess, and then I do have a void in the middle. You could do another big pile of stars, but just a few of the individual stars from the How You Bean set will cover up that void in the middle. And then I'm also going to have the mice that's going to help as well. So what I'm going to do is just take a few of these stars, add some glue, and cover up that kind of void. And I'll trim this one off that's at the bottom. And it only took about three stars to cover this up. Of course, I'm going to trim that off so that it matches the rest of the stars. And that little dip that you see there, that's going to get covered up by the embroidery hoop. Now I'm adding my peacock cardstock. This is cut with the largest stitch rectangle. And then I've put foam tape all over the back of this panel that I created with the stars and the sentiment. And then I can add some foam squares to the back of my embroidered star. And then I'm just going to center this up like it's sitting on that big pile of stars. Now I can add my little mice. So I have this little guy here. I like to think he's like throwing some stardust up in the air. <laughs> and he's gonna go there on the left. I did put a foam square underneath him and then just some liquid glue where he touches the embroidery hoop because the hoop is already popped up on some foam. And I'll do the same with this little mouse. He's gonna go on the right side 
and I'm going to add that little needle and thread to his hand because someone had to stitch this star in the embroidery hoop. So he is the one that did all that work. And then of course this little guy, I just like to think that he's sliding down a big hill of glittery glowing stars. And then I have three of those stars from the How You Bean stamp set left over. I'm going to add them around the top and I like the look of them going off the side of the panel. That's just a fun embellishment to kind of look like they're falling from the sky into the big pile. And then I took a few of the small stars from the Hearts and Stars with Skinny Tag Dye. These are cut from that gold glitter card stock and that just pulls in that gold glitter of the screw on the top of the embroidery hoop. And then I'm taking my stickles and just adding a little bit of Stardust stickles to my stars in just some random places. And here is my finished card and I think it turned out super duper cute. I love that big pile of stars at the bottom. Oh my goodness, Shari, I love the way that you stitch the star and how you stitch the outside edges of the star too. I think it's so pretty. And then how you incorporated those cute little mice in the pile of the stars at the bottom. It's so sweet and such a fun way to incorporate the hoop into a scene. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And Callie here shows us that that dotted moon and stars backdrop is perfect for these stars. And I love that beautiful rainbow star design that she created. Next up, we have a stunning card by Nindy, and oh my goodness, I love how she stitched her star so much. And then she did some stenciling of rainbow stars in the background, and I think it feels so special. I love those little black splatters and the so amazing sentiment too. And then here, Megan also found a way to incorporate her super cute embroidered hoop star into her scene using the Superstar stamp set, and I think this is just so sweet and cute. And oh my goodness, we cannot wait to see all of your beautiful embroidered star cards, so make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!